Good morning. Mr. Chairman and members of Would the... You please state your name for the record. Oh, Robert Spencer, living in Eagle, Idaho. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, two words have surfaced in these hearings that have concerned for me. One is fear and the other is change. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure I like change. I'm not sure it's easy to live with, but sometimes change is a good thing. And it seems as though the older I get, the easier it is to understand and accept that change. <clears throat> the fear, all of us fear uh, something in our lives. All of us have lived with different types of fear. Uh, I can remember back in the Vietnam era, the fear of the draft. Many of the folks here recognize that, many don't. I also recognize the fear of living as a gay man and a gay priest. And yes, you saw, you've seen three gay clergy from the Episcopal Church, but we do have a lot of straight clergy also. <laughs> And I would affirm everything that my associate Emily has said. As an ordained priest for 43 years and time, part of that time in parish ministry and part of that time as a hospital chaplain, working with people who come from all different backgrounds and areas. The Episcopal Church has struggled with the issues of homosexuality and transgendered. It has struggled with this for many years. The Episcopal Church has a history of studying things, and we have studied all of these issues for at least 10 to 12 years. We've arrived at a place where we've accepted in the Episcopal Church gay and lesbian and transgendered folks to be ministers, to be bishops, to be priests, to be deacons in the church. And we've arrived at even being able to bless unions between same gender couples. So it's been a long, hard journey. I came out in my 40s, and it came out after I moved to Idaho because I felt more accepted here than I did in the southeast of this country. So we do have that history behind us. Each of us who have stood here before you have the history behind us also. You have about 30 seconds left. You're asking a preacher to cut I know. Back. I know. <laughs> well, then I would just close by saying that I really do support the four words I hope that House Bill 2 will pass through this committee and eventually through the House of this great state. Thank you. If you think it's bad for preachers, it's terrible for politicians to, <laughs> I know. to, to uh, remain silent. Are there questions? <laughs>